after a Week 1 victory over the New England Patriots, the Miami Dolphins will look to get another win against a divisional opponent when they host the Buffalo Bills this coming season. The Dolphins have struggled significantly over the last few years when playing Buffalo. This is a team that has had Miami's number in the past and has put together a couple of really strong wins against the Dolphins. Going into the season, Buffalo was discussed as a contender for the AFC and a team that could challenge Kansas City for a Super Bowl berth. The Bills may have lost their season opener against the Pittsburgh Steelers, but that doesn't mean that this team isn't loaded with talent that could easily get things together by kickoff on Sunday. Miami is also coming off a victory that wasn't the most convincing. Granted it was a road divisional game and there is no denying that those matchups are more complicated than simply putting the team rosters up against one another. Yet, Miami definitely has a few things to fix going into this matchup. Miami will need to take advantage of their home field advantage and work to establish long, drawn-out offensive drives that will tire this defense out in the South Florida heat. They will also need to make sure that they are game-planning around Buffalo's key players. With all of that said, let's take a look at three players that Miami needs to specifically game-plan against in order to win at home against Buffalo. Josh Allen. How can you not start with Allen on this list? Since Josh Allen came into the league, he has posted a 5-1 record against the Miami Dolphins, with his only loss coming in his rookie season. Allen's blend of playmaking ability with improved accuracy has caused fits for the Dolphins' defense. On top of that, his ability to extend plays and pick up yards on the ground is something that the Dolphins have really struggled against for what seems like an eternity. With all of that being said, Allen is beatable. The Pittsburgh Steelers showed that on Sunday. There are two things Miami will need to do to keep Josh Allen under wraps on Sunday and after the Patriots game, both might be a bit of an issue. The first is to generate pressure on the defensive line. Miami defensive line struggled to do that against New England, and when they did get a little push, they failed to do anything with it. Miami will need stellar play from Christian Wilkins, Emmanuel Ogba, Andrew Van Ginkle and Jalen Phillips to force Allen to make a mistake or two. The second factor is that Miami defense will need to be more consistent in the middle of the field. On Sunday, they let up too many passes to receivers in the belly of the defense. This could have been part of the game plan, to force Mac Jones to play it short, but it could backfire even more so against a potent Buffalo offense. I am not too worried about the Bills' running game, so shutting down Allen should be the most important thing for this defense going into the home opener. Stefan Diggs if Josh Allen is Batman, then Stefan Diggs is most definitely his Robin. Diggs is an ultra-talented receiver who torched Miami defense in their two matchups last season. He went for 15 catches, 229 yards, and a touchdown in both of their games last season, and the final matchup was a huge blowout, which probably cut his potential stat line a bit short. Diggs is a great route runner and has the speed to get up and over the defense if Miami isn't careful with him. Miami will rely have to rely on Xavier Howard to do his best to limit the big play impact of Diggs on every single possession. Miami can't afford to let him run open, especially in the middle of the field where Miami struggled a bit last week, and let him and Allen develop a rhythm. When it inevitably switches to zone defense, Miami will also need to make sure that their safeties over top, whether that be Jason McCourty, Eric Rowe or Javon Holland, are keeping tabs on Buffalo's number 14 to make sure he doesn't get easy touchdowns. Diggs can easily ruin a defensive game plan and Miami will have to make sure that he doesn't get the chance to by playing near-perfect defense. It might be a hard task to accomplish, but if Miami can blanket Diggs with quality corner play from Xavier Howard and couple that with consistent and effective pressure on Josh Allen, Miami could keep this talented duo from having a field day. Trey Davius White, on the other side of the ball, Miami will need to watch out for Buffalo's talented cornerback. Tua Tungavailoa did a pretty good job going up against New England's defense, even if it was without Stephon Gilmore. He will need to be even better on Sunday. Trey Davius White is coming off two stellar seasons where he ended up with All-Pro honors, first team in 2019 and second team in 2020. White can take away one side of the field and shut down the opponent's best receivers by himself. Miami will have to run a very creative offensive game plan to try and move defenders off of the better receivers on this roster and keep White from making any big plays. Miami will need to have a big day from their receiving corp, led by Devontae Parker and Jalen Waddell. 
The addition of Will Fuller will also help this unit become a bit more dangerous, meaning that Miami doesn't have to force the ball in White's direction. Tunga Vailoa should have a bunch of options when he drops back to pass and will just need to make sure that his passes are out on time and accurately. Miami can't afford some of the passes that we saw against New England that were rushed or poor decisions. White will feast on those. Miami would also benefit from working a bit more to get the running game going. If Miami can get another week of solid play out of Miles Gaskin and Salvan Ahmed, that could keep White from having a monstrous impact on the game.